Hi everyone, so I'm going to be going over another example, but this time I'm going to be going over the three different parameters, which are element, index, and array. So I'm going to show you guys what this array parameter does for us and what it can grab. So that's really the three different items that can be used within this map functionality. This is pretty much the last one, but I'll show you more examples in other videos um, as needed um, with this function. Um, map method, but essentially they're all the same thing. Um, they do the exact same functionality. And what we're going to do is just set up another array. So let's say array 1 is equal to, I'll put the same numbers again, 1, 2, 3, 4. And what I want to do is I just want to call array 1 and I want to map through it. And what I want to do is I want to um, taken three parameters here, which are x, index, and array. And what I want to do now is I'm just going to use the arrow function, and I'm going to do something in here. So I'm saying inside this map functionality, there's like three things we want to look at. I just want to console log out each thing, so then we can actually see what's going on. I'm going to console log out the Let's console log it out in order. So console log x, then console.log index, then console.log array. And what I want to do is just so I separate things in the terminal is I'm just going to add this little decorator just so it clearly denotes the differences between each iteration. And I'm going to um, run this, it's example 4, and right here we could see all the things that are displayed to us. So what happens in the first iteration is, again, it looks at array 1, what we've initialized here at the top, and the dot map functionality is going to take one element at a time in this array. So x is going to equal to 1, and index will be whatever position it's at, so it'll be zero. And then the array, what it does is it just actually just grabs this entire array again just to display that entire array. So it really doesn't do anything different. It just kind of consoles log, console logs out this entire thing. And as you can see here, it shows one, zero, and then that entire array again. And then this is just the decorator to just separate it. So so you can see here, um, after it grabs the first iteration, then it grabs the second one, which is the value of 2, and it's at position 1, and then it grabs that entire array again. Then it goes to the value of 3, which is in the array right here, and it's the position 2, or index of 2, and then it grabs that entire array. And then again, the last time is the value of 4, and then it's the index of 3, and then just grabs that entire array. So this is just how you can use three different parameters like in your map method. Um, you don't have to use all three parameters, of course, but it's an option if you need it there.